All right, this is <laughs> I I will give the whole story about this this limousine here. It's right next to our center, immigration center. Okay. Um, this was used for transport for these politicians. And look at it right there. It's a Lincoln limousine right there. I'll get back here and finish this, but the battery right now is completely depleted. It's dead. But there you have it. This is what the politicians were transported with. Individual who liked this thing, I think, was a Czech guy. I think he was the one Zeman, I think, but I'm not sure. Obviously, this is an American car. Um, <laughs> nicely left for me here. Uh, make no mistake, this is about 10 minutes walk from immigration uh, center where I am coming up so this is gonna be at battery is gonna go dead so at least I have this this limousine was properly identified as Mil limousine of Miller Zeman uh, the car was later on sold to the dealership and bought again through the dealership by this individual who resides about Five minutes away with the car from where we are at in Estonia. Look, you can see it here. Yeah, there was some talk about it could be like this and it could be like that. Uh, you know, the car ownerships, you can write whatever you want uh, when it comes to the politicians and missions like this. Uh, I would be surprised if it would be written. On a proper names whatever because this is part of the deal when it comes to that but yeah uh, that's the car right there yeah, this vehicle this vehicle originally belonged to American politician uh, Miller Zeman got his eye on this vehicle eventually became his personal vehicle here in uh, let's just say, I don't know, I would rather say in this part of the Poland because I remember him, they used bus and they used like, it's not like a mini bus, but it's like a, it's in the same streets where we are at, it's, it's a vehicle that is, I am not sure if this was the same vehicle, uh, I was suggested that this type of vehicle was used for the transportation it's a vehicle with like totally dark windows like like a smaller bus uh, looks really elegant the driver however uh, the individual who is in this street who is you know maybe just in this same street as we are like <clears throat> not on a street like a main street here like Ostronia street but street uh, the opposite of our exit from our property there is a street maybe just about I don't know maybe maybe 30 meters away uh, was an individual who was used also for this transports uh, he does have this he did have already back then this CDL license if you like for the transport for this type of transport it was used on occasions um, when it comes to the title of this vehicle <clears throat> this title you're not going to find out any you're not going to get any any kind of special information most likely on it because this is something i was told this can be like this or it can be like that so i would not place my bets on this kind of stuff but i do remember they did use this kind of vehicles um and this vehicle in particular, I would say, belonged to Mr. Milos Zeman, definitely. And it's also the neighbors right there on the opposite side. It's like a hilly thing. I think he also stayed in that area as well. Okay.
I don't know how long these people, these politicians change locations. I have pointed out few. That's all I can give about this information, but I'm going to use one because I did have proofs. I have pointed out that this thing did happen here. And when I'm going to go to MK Ultra about Zgirsh, identifying story, you're also going to hear store owners that will mention there were American politicians and so on here in 2005, 2006. It was a heavy American presence here. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of stuff. And so I'm going to use this. Undoubtedly, I have to. 